guys welcome to taste to explore my name is Darlene and today my friends I am showing you an easy recipe using a crock pot we are making a pineapple brown sugar glazed ham so easy so simple made right in your crock pot perfect dish to make during the holidays especially since we are really right around the corner from um, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. You can make it whenever you like, really. It's so simple. And because we're cooking it in our crock pot, it makes it so much easier to just stick it in here while you can still have a lot of stuff going on in your stove and you don't have to worry about, you know, the ham being occupied on your stove. It's you know really what I'm saying? simple, really easy, and very delicious. So now let's go over to the very basic ingredients to get this started. Okay guys, now let's begin. Right here I have a 20 ounce can of chopped pineapples in its natural juice. Make sure it's in its natural juice and not the heavy I have syrup. here one cup and a half of light brown sugar and a half a teaspoon of Ground and pork. right here I have a butt portion ham, eight pounds. I have here one third cup of honey, and then I have one tablespoon of regular yellow mustard, and that's all you're gonna need. To begin. All right, so now let's begin. We're gonna start scoring this ham. Now, of course, you can use whatever ham you want. You can buy the spiral ham that comes already pre-sliced and that is great. However, I like this kind of ham too. I really like it. I think it has just a little bit more flavor in it. And I'm trying to see which way I want to start. So, I'm going to start from this end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a good sharp knife and I'm just going to score it pretty deep. Make a few slits, maybe make around five or six slits and then diagonal right across and it's just going to look like a nice That's diamond shape. Do. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. I prefer to do it because I want the flavor to intensify in the middle of my ham because I want flavor everywhere. So I'm just going to start squirming it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be totally deep. Just deep enough. And that's all I'm going to do. Since I right did it now. this way, now I'm going to do it the opposite way, right around here. Let's see. This one. Actually, I'm going to start in this side. So you can't see this one too much, but it's the same thing. I'm just going the opposite. And how I'm going to season this with is my mustard. I like putting mustard. You don't have to do it. This is optional. But you don't taste it in here. It's going to cook really well in this. And it actually cuts down the salt. Because we're not going to boil this. So the mustard really does a good job. So if you want, you can't skip her. However, I think it's a crucial part. I think... And I'm not, and not that I think I know it's a crucial part. And it just provides a lot of flavor and it just cuts the salt. And of course, this provides like a, like a, an adhesive, a glue to the brown sugar that we're going to be putting in here. So with your clean hands, just go all around. And that's it. I would love to hear the way you prepare your hams. So you can leave me a comment below. I would love to hear and then we can, you know, learn a little bit from one another. So right here, I'm going to start off with just a little bit of my brown sugar right inside my sleeve. Just a little bit, just to have a bed for it to sit in. I want everything to be impact with flavor. It's going to be really nice and sweet and oh, so trying to break up all the chunks of the 
you know what I'm just gonna put this right in here because I know I'm just gonna make a big old fat mess so let me just transfer it now right in here so in my crock pot I'm just gonna be putting in my sugar and I'm just going to be smearing it all over the ham all over you want to smear it everywhere make sure that every place gets this well seasoned nice and sweet and I'm just spreading it all around it smells delicious already it's not even cooked and oh my god I can tell it's gonna be a heck of a dynamite of a ham I'm telling you this is really 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 good and so easy too we have more room now to make any pies or any turkeys and by the way I do have some great recipes on pies and turkeys you need to look in my um, YouTube channel I have a lot of great recipes that I just constantly cook and just want to show and share with everybody so please feel free and look and see because I have made other ham recipes in there as well so you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it all right so I'm continuing on with the last little bit of my sugar spreading it everywhere and patting it down you see how I'm patting it down See if I can turn this over a little bit. It's padded everywhere. It's okay. My hands are a mess right now. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. Now I'm gonna place the whole can of the chunks and juices of my pineapple everywhere, all around. And after you put all of your um pineapple chunks if you want to put another can you can I mean you certainly should cater this to your likings I'm going to put the honey I'm just gonna drizzle it everywhere it's gonna be sweet and savory and oh so good you see how everything fits well and it's perfect you really should try to make sure that your ham can fit your crock pot depending on the size this is an eight an eight point five um, if I'm not mistaken quartz so I have a pretty big crock pot and you see when I put the lid on it it covers beautifully it's not sticking up and that's what you want so make sure that when you buy your ham it fits and if it gives you a hard time you might need to cut some layers off to make sure that it's snugged in here all right guys once you place your ham in your crock pot you're gonna have two options on how to slow cook this you can slow cook this on the low setting that's probably going to take you around eight to ten hours give or take depending on the size of your ham but for me for instance i am going to cook this on a on a high setting about four to five hours maybe even six but I think it's just gonna be done in four to five hours I'm gonna let you know how long it took anyway and it's just gonna be marvelous it's gonna be so full of flavor it's easy it's out the way if you need to do anything else like bake whatever else you need to do in the oven you can it just makes cooking a little bit more freer and you can also serve your guests the ham right in the pot, crock pot sleeve because you can put this right in the on the, in top of your table it's not going to be so pretty like a like a showy type of thing but nonetheless your ham can stay warm and juicy right inside here so it's just going to serve its purpose really well so anyway i'm going to show you how this looks when this gets done and we're going to do a taste test so i'll see you right back all right it is done and it's nice and juicy and come and take a look look at that amazing okay 
Okay, guys. Here is my it is ham. Absolutely amazing. I already took a piece out of it, and it tastes so good, so soft and juicy. It is phenomenal. And here you have it. Four hours later. All right, guys. I hope you love this recipe. It was really easy and delicious to put together. It is phenomenal it is soft it is tender and it was made so easy out the way I was able to do a tons of more things which I do have other videos that I would like to bring to you for this coming holiday some classic pie dishes and classic side dishes that I know you and your family will love and if you have any suggestions let me know leave me a comment below I would love to hear what would you want me to make next don't forget to follow me in my social media sites please guys follow me there instagram facebook twitter you got it i leave a list down below on after every video so take advantage you know it's free and i would like to interact with all of you so make this and if you do make it take a picture and tag me on it i would love to see your creations because the food, the beauty of food is it brings connection and I want to get connected with you. So take care. Thank you for joining me and happy holidays and much blessings to you and your family. Take care. Bye-bye.